So, thought note, April 30th, what am I thinking? I think it's gonna be a little awkward after quarantine ends going back into the real world for some people. I think, I um, mean, just imagine yourself walking back into that kitchen at work where everyone's congregating, people are brushing up against you. Imagine walking into that full bar down the street once it opens. And so I wanted to talk about uh, how not, I was thinking about how not to be awkward in those situations, right? I think uh, I'd like to give a few things that uh, are on top of my mind. Um, number one is gonna be slowing down, which is the biggest piece of advice we give at jaunty.org. Just slow down your body, your movements, your speech. I think that's gonna give you time to relax, give you more time to think of things to say and assess, right? So just slowing everything down uh, in every social situation is a huge piece of advice that, that I know will help. Um, remind yourself to do that. Um, what else to not be awkward? Uh, well, uh, and we made a video of this before I released it. I'll put a link at the bottom, but uh, remind yourself to take pressure off of others, other people, right? So after you say hello or introduce yourself uh, face to face, you can turn at an angle a little bit so you're a little more side to side. And um, this takes spotlight of attention or um, uh, you know how people say, oh, thanks for putting the spot on me. You can take that off, right? You also ask less questions in a row in the beginning because that will put a lot of pressure on people because you're, you're, you're saying a quick question and they're now having to deal with coming up with so many answers, especially having, you know, and some of us might be more um, comfortable getting back out there. Maybe you're living in a full house during quarantine with a ton of people, so you've just been social this whole time. But I think it's gonna be jarring for some other people. And um, you know, it'll be like uh, getting on a ski lift um, when you haven't for like five years, right? You're gonna be like, oh, okay, I'm, here I am, 50 feet up, I remember this, I think. Um, so, so remember that, okay. Um, which brings us to the next point I think is, is uh, be forgiving in social norms, right? So giving, having a little more flexibility will give you resilience and will also give other people more comfort, meaning that uh, give everyone a break around you, right? So if someone says something, and a good way to do this, um, a good little tip here is, uh, it's go with what people say a little bit more. This is a little bit like the yes and technique in improv. So let's say someone says something a little bit uh, awkward or off. Um, you you go with it instead of, the worst thing you can do is be like, uh, okay, right, or awkward, right? That's just gonna make things harder on everyone. You're not gonna make friends that way. Um, someone says something a little bit off, you can be like, oh, yeah, totally. And we can take shots of whiskey after that. You know, just go with it, right? Go with it a little bit more. Have a wider spectrum of what's what. Have a wider spectrum of what's okay, um, rather than these narrow expectations. Um, so be more forgiving, and 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 other people will be more forgiving in that conversation with, with how people are feeling, uh, coming back to normal life. Um, humor is a huge one, right? Something we teach at jaunty.org is humor. Uh, bring it out. Remind yourself every morning or during the day to add some lightheartedness. Uh, use your environment. Play with the people around you. Obviously, appropriate humor at work, but um, some of that will 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 lighten the mood and will remind people that it's okay. And you know, a little silliness. I think a little extra added uh, silliness and fun um, will make things less awkward. Okay, um, trying to trying to remember some of the other things. Um, uh, all, all this ties into your frame. At the end of the day, uh, you decide on what your social reality is. So, um, the, th the if you want to act slow and calm and collected, that'll be your reality. If you want to act with humor and add humor appropriately, you make that your reality. And, and the more you believe that. Um, other people will will fall into that frame, 
And so everyone around you will feel really comfortable around you. And so, um, yeah, I think, I think those are, that's a good starting point to, to not being awkward.